Hello and welcome back to this last and final tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to talk about um, advanced shading networking and, and the purpose of it is to create more detailed textures. So instead of um, if you're getting too close to a texture and it suddenly looks horrible like I showed in the last video, um, we're going to create a texture that looks good from far away and from up close. Okay, let's get started. Already have the UDK opened. Um, let's go to our wood texture. But now what we could do is make it a bit more complicated. And that's by putting that one back to zero. So that's will be the shader that you see from a distance. So let's call that distance and let's duplicate this entire shader by pressing control of by pressing holding control and clicking each of the individual texture sample and texture coordinate nodes and then press control C and then control V then we have it duplicated good zoom it out and put it like that so and let's rename that one to hmm, I don't know detail yeah detail sounds good okay let's put that detail one at four use and now we have to add these two texture samples together how we're going to do that is by using an add node you simply type add here and you will find one and drag it in and there you have it or what you could also do is hold the A key and then left click and you would have an add node here as well now let's hook up both textures and put them in the diffuse and there we go So the texture did get a bit lighter now. Oh, and we have to do, of course, also have to do the same for the normal. And another add node. There we go. And let's hook up that one and that one. Put it into the normal. And there we go. Press apply. And let's go into the world. And it's already looking quite. Yeah, if you get close to it, you still see the detail. And if you get far away, you see the, uh, the let's say the rougher detail. If you get really close, you can still see some detail instead of just pixels. Although in normal gaming situations, you wouldn't be staring up the wall like this. So, okay. But in my opinion, the texture is a bit too light now. So what we're going to do is make it a bit darker again. And that's by adding a multiply. A multiply you can just find the same way we use the add node, but you can also hold the M key, left mouse button, and you have a multiply. I'm going to use add into the A and I'm going to create a MMM that's not what I wanted and I'm going to create a constant which you can find there we have it a constant or you can hold one and left mouse click that will give you the same result there you go and hook it up to the B and I'll use it at 0 0.5 which means that I'll darken the image by 50% which gives it its original color back and I'll do the same for the normal map and so multiply by M and hold 1 and mouse click for the constant hook it up Ooh. get a 0 0.5 and there we go 
Don't always forget to apply, otherwise it won't save and you won't see, see any changes in the world. Well, that looks a lot better. I kind of like it. Though, there is one thing that's bothering me. All the lines are going upwards. What if we want them horizontally? Well, there is a way to do that. And that's by adding a rotator. Rotator. There we have it. And adding them. And now it gets a bit tricky because we already used the texture coordinates um, to match it with the UVs of the texture sample. And we can't add it anywhere else. So, what we're going to use, do is use the texture coordinates and hook that up to the coordinates of the rotate rotator and that we will plug into the UV now you will see some weird stuff happening because <laughs> the rotator doesn't have a time limit to it so it will just keep on rotating until you say it st should stop so we use a constant again hook it up now it won't do anything now all we have to do is type in a certain value where the lines will face upwards. Oh, that was too much. 6, 6.5 perhaps, 6.3, well, that's roughly it. And then all you have to do is select both with holding control and clicking both of them, control C, control V, and doing exactly the same for the lower resolution one and there you go oh. don't forget the normals almost forgot those so, so that one goes in there you already s starting to see that it's becoming a little bit unclear what goes to what and what's part of what. Okay, now we can see it's upwards. Apply. I'll come back to that later. And we can, ah, there we go. Play from here. And now we have it horizontally. That looks, in my opinion, quite good. Even if you would get up close. Okay. Well, there you have it, a texture that looks good from far away and good if you get up close. But now our shader network is a big mess. So what we're going to do is label it. Let's say that all of this step that one. and all of okay oh. select all of them right mouse button and select new comment and with that you can make a comment and we'll call this detailed normal and you get a yellow line around it can expand it, make it smaller, and if you click on it and hold control, you can select all of them, or you automatically select all uh, nodes that are within uh, this comment window, and you can drag them freely around. And we'll do the same for the diffuse. New comments, I'll call it detailed diffuse there we go I already renamed this texture coordinate and I'm also going to name this oh. um, hmm. low detail I had to oh. Okay. 
and we'll do the same for this new comments and also low detail normal there we go now that's already looking a bit better than what we had before well there we go that's our shader network for this texture well I hope you enjoyed the tutorial well good luck with making your materials and hope to see you around